Okay, yes. Uh, hey everyone, Luther here. Welcome back for more Golden Sun Lost Age. In the last episode, we... Chi we, uh... Went to the Gabamba Catacombs, got the Tome of Eldritch Voodoo lore that, uh... Gabamba had promised us. And then we followed Briggs here to Champa. Seeing us, he ducked into the cave, and so we are going to be chasing him. Alright, I surrender. I'll go back to Al Hafro, but only if Briggs is gone. Why do you have to be so stubborn? Quit following us, you big bully. What, you wanna come in? That's it. I'm a nice girl, and I don't know. That bullets. Right there. So, feelings to come. I don't assume I'll go so easy on you this time. Is that boy him? The mighty warrior you told me about? I told you he didn't look like a Weren't you even listening to me? Stealing our jewels. <laughs> For you. Uh, no, I just want to smack you upside the head. But that's not the point, Grandma. If you destroy him now, he's going to take me far away and you will never see me again. Oh no, he doesn't look like the kind of boy who would do that. Yeah, I just want to smack him upside the head. Way, poor Ilu will be so sad. What do you say about that? Oh, that's just not fair. You know we can't do it. Turn off the lights. I can't bear to see Ilu sad. Grandma, please. I'm not leaving until Briggs has been smacked upside the head. Earth, fury of the forge's flames, grant me power! Oh boy. Half an Surprise boss fight. And here's one of the new synergy, Diamond Bird. This is an upgrade of Diamond Trust, and it is... Uh, 
Hey, look at that. Yep, this is the first boss in the game that gets two turns. Boy, it's cute. This is actually, I think, the first boss in the game that actually is a lot of I don't know if it was because I was under level of the flight. Not much to say here. <laughs> Thank goodness it didn't stun Jeff. Hey, got him with his weakness! <laughs> oh man, it's the second time this LP has happened. going on? I thought you were going to protect me. What do you mean, what am I doing? I've done everything I can. Grandma, he's going to take me away. He's a bad guy. You have to do something. Sorry, Briggs, but you'll have to fight him yourself. What? I'm through pampering you. You'll have to get out of this yourself. But, but Grandma, look at him. I mean, look what he can do. I know you, but there's nothing I can do to help. You don't want him to take you away, do you? What about poor Aeolia? <sighs> Excuse me. There seems to be a small misunderstanding. 
Yeah, I don't like standing here listening to a pirate call us the bad guys. Pirate? Mike Briggs? He stole a ship from a and escaped from their jail. A ship we helped fix. Briggs, is this true? Uh, but, but Grandma, they... We should tell you, we're not here to take Briggs back to El Hafra. They decide you don't want to run errands for the mayor of El Hafra. No, I haven't decided yet. What are you, insane, Craden? Felix, I know you can't mean that. We didn't come to Chompa for that bloated gas bag. Briggs? Piracy? Why? Grandma, it's not what you think. These guys, they... Briggs, you just hush up. What makes sense now? The gems, the food, your absence? What do you mean, what makes sense? They're telling the truth, and you, Briggs, you've been lying to me this whole time. You're going to take their word over your own grandsons? You got that right. I should have known better than to believe you, you scoundrel. He only did it for Champa. Chacha. Felix the Chimp looking for you. I was worried. What do you mean Briggs did it for Chumpa? Oh, that food? Stolen goods? No, we paid for everything we brought back with us. We stole a boat to do it, didn't you? Grandma, we found those jewels ourselves and we paid for wealth. I'll have for welfare that shit, didn't we? Yeah. Your story has a ring of truth to it. Thank you, Felix. Your honesty speaks well of you. We were pirates for a short while, until we found the jewels. If it's not for our efforts, Champa would have starved long away long ago. That doesn't excuse resorting to piracy. Hey, it's not like we were doing it for the money. We wanted to save Champa. The jewels we found are very valuable. We intend to repay each town we borrowed from. Isn't that true? What's the matter with you? You said on the boat that we would repay every last town. Oh yeah. We really ought to try and make amends for it, That's the truth, Grandmother. Can't you find it in your heart to forgive your only grandson? Alright, alright. I'm too old for grudges, but what about Felix? What do you say, Felix? Can you forgive my husband? Yeah. I agree, Felix. If each town is repaid what was stolen, I see no reason for complaint. You hear that? They forgive you, too. That means you can leave Aeolian with nothing to fear. I don't know what to say. You know, you look a little strange. Oh, really? You have not call it cold, have you? Do you have a fever? What are you talking about? I thought that you look flushed, too. You better lie down before it gets worse. She worries about me. Hurry up and get into bed so you can get some rest. Oh, for goodness sake, you don't want to give them your cold, do you? Come on. So, what brings you to Chapa? I mean, you didn't come here to catch breaks from what I gathered. Oh, well, to be young and foolish, if you ever need to consult with me on any number of subjects, you're welcome anytime. Is this the legendary trident of Anko? I'll hold on to this for you. It won't do you any good with this, and I'll keep it safe here. I'm not sure. You don't think I'll pull a fast one on you, do you? Nah. You don't seem like that kind of old lady. Nah, that's nice. Don't you worry. If you bring me the other two pieces, I'm happy to be rebuilt it for you. Alright. So, apparently we are now on a quest to find the pieces of the trident. That being said, we can now go places here in Chapel. Anytime coughing, they 
so these two weeks ago. Right. <laughs> Never took off an old lady. See you've caught up with me again, Felix. Alex! Alex? Who is Alex? Alex is a water addict. We had been traveling together, but he left us when we landed on Indra. A water addict? Ah, I see you've made a new friend. You have been busy, haven't you? And you found yourself a new water addict. Do you mean to cast me away like old trash? What do you want with us now, Alex? Or did you forget you were the one who abandoned us? My dear Jenna, did you come to despise me so after all we've been through? Hmm. Not especially. Well, you're the one who left us. It's pretty clear you despise us whom here. My, aren't we a bitter bunch? And I was just trying to help you with your little task. We have no need of your help. We can light the lighthouses without you. Oh, can you really? Cars! That's right, cars. I'm flattered that you remember. What is this, Alex? What's going on? Uh, how can I explain this? What's going on is Alex is demonstrating his remarkable foresight once again. Huh, have you not had the pleasure of introduction? He stayed back at the ship when I saw them in Andre. I am Agatio. They look like an unreliable bunch of ragamuffins. Yes, they are rather useless, aren't they? That's 
why I finally had to abandon them, of course. But now, I believe I may have been hasty in my judgment. You appears? How do you know my name? How soon they forget, we met you before when you were being detained. Who could forget the amateur adage changing water to ice in that strange little town? Ah, you saw that. Ah, you saw that. That must be how you appear to the water at it. In fact, I was even thinking of borrowing a ship at one point. You would steal someone's boat? That's so typical, Alex. You wound me, Jenna. I only meant to borrow it. Whatever you might have meant, that doesn't make it right. Just when I was about to seize the opportunity, you had to come back. You mean from Kibambo? I was mere moments too late. Isn't that a shame? Still, because of that, I did meet Carson and Gatio, so perhaps it was my fate. Can't you just stop talking about yourself for one second, Alex? Enough of your childish guys. Alex, I want to know what makes these punks useful. Because they brought us the orb that Akafuku had taken. That shows some resourcefulness. How so? The Kidondo are quite warlike, or were at any rate. Recovering the orb was most likely not easy. They're just typical villagers, easily frightened with a small display of synergy. No, they would have used less abrupt methods than those you favor. Oh, what methods would those be? I'll say it clearly enough, we wouldn't terrorize people in doing what we wanted. Enough of this! Stop changing the subject! When are you going to light the remaining lighthouses? Yes, our patience is beginning to wear thin. If you waste much more of our time, we'll take those elemental stars and do it ourselves. If we had a wind out of like Shiva and the elemental stars, we wouldn't need you. Excuse me? I am, of course, opposed to their line of thinking. My experience with Satros and Minardi suggests that while they were fierce warriors, they were somewhat lacking when it comes to solving the mysteries of the lighthouses. You mean to say they failed to solve the riddles? Miserably. <coughs> Are you suggesting they were simple brutes incapable of logic and intelligence? And are you saying the same of us? I'm afraid so. Alex, whose side are you on? I'm on no one's side. My only concern is to see the lighthouse beacon lit once again. So I mean to leave the task to Felix. And why did we come all this way looking for Felix? I merely wanted to confirm that he and his companions had not forgotten their quest. Is that truly all? I also wanted to introduce Felix to the two of you. Why would you want to do that? If that person is already gone, you probably felt very little pressure to complete your test. I cannot have that. What do you mean by that? If that person is already gone, I felt another pair of my national purpose. Provided with the proper incentive to complete your task. Is that some kind of threat? Take it as you wish. I just wanted to provide you with the proper encouragement. So what? You used us to our satisfaction and now our role is done? You only wanted us to f You only wanted us to round to flex a little muscle and scared him into action. Fine. I suppose we'll let you go today. But we will always be nearby, pushing you to make your way to Jupiter Lighthouse swiftly. I look forward to seeing you at soon field somewhere very near Jupiter Lighthouse. Crazy. Am I right in recalling that you pursue this quest on behalf of the Soldier Colby's ruler, Babby? This is true. I'm studying alchemy to close Lord Babby the Wilderman. What about him? Ah, uh, what a pity. It seems it would seem all your studies have been for naught. What are you getting at, Alex? Only that it seems your Lord Babby is at last succumbed to the ravages of time. Lord Babby is dead? Oh, so you didn't know. Lord Babby dead? Can that really be true? Alex, how would you know such a thing? Do not mistake me, we had no hand at Babby's passing. However, the people of Tully may be under the impression that our presence is like he's dead. Alex, cut the melodrama and get to the point for a change. 
simply put, I would recommend against traveling to North Gondon for a while. I just thought it might be better if you focused on your quest instead of exploration for now. How kind of you. Take it as you will. Very well. Maybe we'd again. So the only reason Alex came here was to threaten us? And bring us news of Abby's death despite the fact that we asked for no such news. Perhaps he had his own reasons for telling Creighton. What do you mean, Pierce? If Creighton undertook this quest on behalf of Abby, then he no longer has any need. Oh, of course, I hadn't thought of that. Your orders were to find Lemuria, right, Creighton? That's right, but if Babby really has died, you're free to go where he will, Creighton. That's not true, Sheba. Certainly my original reason for researching Alpine was for Lord Babby. Was for Lord Babby? That's the past tense. What are your at what are your reasons now? This is no longer solely for research. I do this because of what I've learned on this quest. Your research? What you learned on this quest? I'm not following you at all. I don't understand a word of this. Of course, Felix is the only one I've spoken to about any of this. What? You knew? That's not fair. Tell us! Please, please. Let's not say too much about it just yet. It's far too complicated. Well, when will you tell us? I'm sure we will tell you once we get to learn. Do you promise? but I have a guess at what you're thinking. I guess? What do you mean? You're a great scholar, Creighton, are you not? I believe your theory is correct, and to prove it, I want to return to Lemuria as soon as possible. 